Well, right on cue, they cranked up the speech behind me. We're going to get to hear a lot of John F. Kennedy's speech that happened right here 60 years ago today. Now, there's also with all these chairs here. A lot of folks are going to turn out to watch in person. And then the stage behind me and the video screen, we're going to have speeches on both of them. Lots of people, and I'll get to them in just a second. But really, today is all about that speech. Again, it happened on this date back in 1962. JFK standing at a podium here at Rice Stadium, announcing his intention to ramp up our country's involvement in the space race. We chose to go to the moon, he said, not because it's easy, because it's hard. JFK wanted American astronauts to walk on the moon by the end of the 1960s, and it was mission accomplished with Apollo 11 in 1969. The anniversary comes at a time, of course, that NASA's trying to return to the moon. We'll keep you posted on the uh, new Artemis rocket. There's been some issues there, but it would be the biggest rocket ever flown. Now, as for today's event, in addition to the reading of the Kennedy speech, there will also be a message from astronauts on the International Space Station. Plenty of speakers will also take the stage. The NASA administrator, the president of Rice University, the director of the Johnson Space Center, and an astronaut who graduated from Rice. They're playing to the home crowd, and notably so. Local leaders will also speak, including Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner. Now, I mentioned it at uh, 8 o'clock. I want to mention it again, though, the space selfie. You see all the chairs here. Well, everybody's going to kind of come together, right? And then the satellite going to normally be going overhead at the perfect time. They're going to snap a picture from space of the selfie down here on the field. It should be something to see. Reporting live at Rice Stadium, Seth Kovar, CW39 Houston.